We are returning to Rush on the channel. It's been a while since I've heard their record. Rush has been a very interesting band for me. I find this style to sometimes be difficult to get into. Now, people have said to me this is almost by design because they use so many different styles of musical switch ups. There's going to be a style that doesn't exactly click with me. But my favorite track of their subdivisions, I think, shows what the band is all about. Fantastic lyrics and a brilliant atmosphere. I love when they go subtle. That is my favorite style of rush music now this track is off their debut album it has an interesting story it was one of their breakthrough hits and it's because a dj dj donna halper played it on a cleveland radio station and people took notice of it not only because it was a good record but it spoke to the blue collar factory workers of cleveland and it gave them their first commercial commercially successful record so here we go let's find out about this record working man by rush Big guitar line. interesting right this is a, a call to the life of someone who you know like they were saying in the story or the context that i got uh, a factory worker in cleveland for example this being called a working man is like a shot of energy it's like a shot of coffee like an espresso to anyone who's living that life a call to something maybe greater uh, just to get you through your day even really cool right the sonics of this track the the tone of the guitars particularly the thickness of the guitars and then especially that guitar solo as well i've heard that style or sound on a different versions in other tracks and it always really resonates with me i don't know quite how to describe that there's some guitar solos that sound thin they sound thin singular notes lengthened out this is a different style it sounds like uh Again, thicker, just thicker and distorted almost, uh, contorted. Really cool style. Um, again, a shot of espresso, you know, espresso, I should say, um, for anyone who's living this sort of life. And lastly, the dude's voice, right, has always been really difficult for me in the beginning. Not always been in the beginning for me to get into the band. It was the one aspect that I didn't like initially but with time listening to also other rock voices it's definitely been growing on me this style it's much more higher in register and i really like it in this particularly the melodies he's choosing
introduction track to audiences. As usual, the drums are kicking. Hear that bass line? the drums. Catch those little, little tiny things that he's doing on the drum kit. Neil Pierre, I think is how you pronounce his name, right? Um, you can hear those flutters. I mean, the rudimentary level of drumming that I did, basic. It was four on the four on the kick, uh, two on the snare. Like the things he's doing, he's filling out these tiny moments with accents every time on the hi hat on a snare, on the kicks, it's unreal, right? Interesting, the cyclic nature of the track, right? It comes back to the, I believe, the initial groove and especially the initial verses, the lyrics, the idea that this is repetitive, this feeling, this life of being a factory worker, perhaps, you know, getting up at seven, going to work at nine, feeling as if there's a life out there you could live that's better than I think I am, right? Repet repetition, repetition in the structure. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that is how you win over a fan base, man. That's how you do it, dude. Your, your first kind of breakthrough track. I mean, the energy, the life, the intensity that they put into that thing right there. Seven minutes of brilliance, right? I think it's just three dudes. Uh, Giddy Lee is the vocalist. Um, I think Neil Pure is how you pronounce it. And he's, he's the drummer and lyricist. And there's one other fellow who is part of it. His name is Alex Lifeson. He must be the bassist or the guitar player. Okay, you know, Giddy Lee plays bass too. Interesting. Uh, three guys who are able to make such a phenomenal sound. All of that music, instrumentation coming out of just three guys. Fantastic, man. As I was saying, it's like a shot of life for anyone who is going through something like that. Imagine like being a lorry driver, for example, in that time period, and you turn this thing on and you feel energized. You feel like... You know someone else understands this thing that is happening to you and it's done through this brilliant style of music right full of life loved it um great track great to return to some rush man it's been a while um they have such an interesting discography they have tracks like subdivision which sound totally different to this subdivision was like this synthesized uh slower trance like almost track uh, but once again, it had a great message to it. All the music has great messages to it. Spirit of Radio, same thing, right? Uh, great track. Hope, you, hope to see you guys on the next video. See you then. Peace out. Yeah.